This is our Earth, our planet Earth, which we take so much for granted in so many ways. Why is this so? The first and most obvious reason is that we walk all over our Earth, never bothering to look down. We just don't bother to take a closer look at our Earth to see what she's really like, what she's doing, and how she's behaving. We don't try to understand her. We fail to understand that everything we do, all our actions, all our activities, all our infrastructure is supported by our Earth. We fail to appreciate that everything we do, everything we build, every engineering structure that we erect is resting on our Earth. The Earth beneath our feet. But how much do we really know about our Earth? What are these secrets that the Earth is hiding? What are these secrets being hidden from us? I certainly don't know all her secrets, but if you are willing to listen, I'll tell you some of them. You will be amazed. The truth is that the Earth does not really hide these secrets from us, for they can be seen everywhere. The real problem is with us. We don't look to see for ourselves. Sometimes this lack of knowledge of the Earth's behavior costs us dearly in infrastructure and lives. This should not be so. We do not have to wait till lives are lost. We can listen look and learn from our earth. When a bridge fails, the earth is trying to tell us something, but we are not listening. We are not looking. She's trying to tell us in the most subtle way that we are ignoring her. We do this time and again every day of our lives and throughout history. Our earth is literally bursting at the seams every single day to show us her secrets, but we miss the big picture because we don't look down. For the millions of years that man has been living on earth, we still have not learned much about the earth. It is to our detriment. We are doomed to stumble on ignoring earth and her secrets. Bridge failures on the Mississippi are not new. There have been others and no doubt there will be more unless we start to look and listen to what the Mississippi is telling us. When the Mississippi quakes, she's telling us that she's expanding. Her expansion is subtle, slow, but insidious. She quaked violently in 1811 into the winter of 1812, swallowing the town of New Madrid. The town slid off her banks and disappeared forever. It showed us that the river was capable of macro expansion possibilities. And in the same lesson, we should have understood that the river was also capable of micro expansion. What therefore has the most recent bridge failure on the Mississippi shown us? It has shown us that we are not looking at the micro river expansion. We are not looking at seismic creep. What is seismic creep? There's a lot of information on seismic creep on the internet, but we don't factor it into bridge design because we don't know that all river valleys are expanding. A lot of information can be got by typing in the receding seas on Google. Engineers worldwide build dams and bridges across river valleys, not knowing that the river valleys are expanding. This expansion is a micro-contributory part of global expansion. Yes, this expansion is global. Our planet Earth is expanding.
Many bridges spanning the Mississippi and other river valleys have failed in the past. Several of these bridge failures are termed mysterious. Why does a bridge fail mysteriously anywhere? Should that not make us curious? The very fact that they are termed mysterious failures should double our determination to solve the mystery. Instead, we continue to build bridges without giving any thought to the mysterious stresses imposed by earth expansion. This is simply because we know nothing about our earth and her functions. Remember, we build bridges and dams across river valleys, not knowing that they are all expanding. So we have not solved the problem, and the amazing thing is that that is only the tip of the iceberg. The mystery deepens and becomes even more complex when we start to explore the greater portion of the iceberg below the surface. For example, what does the expansion of river valleys have to do with receding seas? What does receding seas have to do with the evolution and development of ancient civilizations? The expansion of river valleys and the receding seas are both manifestations of the same phenomenon, earth expansion. What is the connection between earth expansion and the loss of salt marshes in Jamaica Bay, New York? The answer is receding seas. What is the connection between earth expansion and the loss of all our coastal wetlands in the last 400 years? The answer is receding seas. So when a bridge fails mysteriously, it means that engineers are not aware of the mysterious element seismic creep. Seismic creep is the invisible but insidious element omitted from bridge design. Bridge design for the future will have to factor in expansion of the planet Earth. Engineers will have to design for seismic creep. Seismic creep is the silent and insidious element of Earth expansion that makes seas recede and provided the land for the development of all ancient civilizations. It still keeps on providing new land for us today. The mysterious expansion process has been going on for millions of years and will continue for millions more. It gives us our life and it gives us our land for territorial expansion. We will explore more on Earth expansion and receding seas, which will be coming soon. Remember, the Earth is not arrogant. We are. level datum is a myth. We don't know sea level. The reason is that sea level is constantly falling as seas recede. 